yourself. Hi, my name is Ed Hipkins, and I'm going to talk to you today briefly about um, building in some semiotics to your sound design. I've been working on a sound redesign of Volcabulantis, and I wanted to just add a little bit of an emotional context to this light switch turning on top of the robot's head. So let's just listen to that without the various things I've added. So just a normal plink. Okay, so this is the light. And the first thing I wanted to do was just have a look at what the frequency content was, because I'm going to use that frequency content just to um, start building in a musical interval. So we can see there's already a spike at this frequency, which is 3,600 hertz. Okay. So if I push that up a bit more, we can see that we're bringing out that frequency. It's starting to make it sound a bit more like a, a musical note. Um, I've then added the octave below, which is 1,800. So to the octave below. I've then gone and looked up what 3600 hertz is as a note, and it's between an A7 and A sharp 7. Um, then come in here and gone was between those two notes, so I know it's roughly an A. So let's listen to that. Good. So now I've got the note, roughly, um, and I'm emphasizing that with a Glock, I can start messing around with the semiotics. So roughly, we know that assonant intervals sound nice, in inverted commas, and dissonant intervals sound not nice. So if I put this down to, say, a, a G and have a second, let's see how it changes the emotion of the light switch turning on. Slightly more questioning. Let's go down a semitone. Like, huh? Why? Let's go down another one. Disappointed. I'm going to try it at a tritone. So A to um, an E flat is a tritone. Because I want him to be a bit annoyed. I want him to be like, annoyed. So I, I think a tritone might be quite good for that. <laughs> It's like, a bit annoyed. So I think a tritone works really well. Or what also works really quite well is a, like a diminished ninth, an octave and a semitone, but down the other way. A bit cheesed off. bit cheesed off. So um, essentially, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at different intervals, but within the context of sound design. So that means that I've analysed the frequency of this, super simple. I've emphasised some of the frequency content just to give it some more musical character. I've then added a, a note which kind of works with this, and I've changed the interval to change the different um, emotions that we can get from this light switch. So let's just see the whole thing in, in action. Let's just go back a tiny bit. Now it's probably a bit loud. This is a bit too musical at the moment. Let's have more of the light and less of the glock. Okay, and that's it. If you've got any questions, please put them below. Um, and uh, yeah, hope that's helped. All right, thanks so much. Bye.